Remember our big story tonight, morning an icon from helping build Discovery World to saving downtown theaters, from the ballet to funding classrooms, philanthropist Michael Cudahy helps shape our skyline and our city's finest institutions. Known for the millions he gave away, the 97-year-old passed away. Fox 6's Sam Kramer joins us live downtown with a look at Cudahy's impact that's still felt in Milwaukee today, Sam. Yeah, hi there, Steph. His grandfather, Patrick, founded the Patrick Cudahy Meat Company, but Michael, his money was really self-made. With a business partner, he formed Marquette Electronics in 1965. They created the electrocardiogram, or EKG system, that's still used in hospitals, and then he eventually sold that company to General Electric before the turn of the century. But instead of just keeping those profits to himself, he really used it for good here in Milwaukee in areas including the arts, colleges, and science. One, two, three. Outside the Riverside Theater in December 2015. All right. The lights came back on along a new marquee, perhaps a fitting sign of the investment Michael Cudahy made in the arts, saving theaters, including the PAPs, from demolition and helping build them into must see venues. Mike was a force for action all the time. And that having someone like that who is so decisive, visionary, innovative is something that future generations of Milwaukeeans will all benefit from. Joel Brennan shared news of Cudahy's passing Monday. He worked with Cudahy while leading Discovery World, which Cudahy helped guide out of a city library into its new space along the lakefront with millions of dollars of his own money. Cudahy earned that money thanks in large part to the creation of a central EKG system in 1965. And that was unheard of at the time. His support for health care and education didn't stop there. Cudahy donated millions to Marquette, where a hall is named in his mother's honor. He also supported MSOE and helped pay for the cardiovascular center at the Medical College of Wisconsin. There, a hallway remembers Cudahy's contributions, including EKG instruments he collected. He brought these pieces of equipment up piece by piece, and um, he sat behind the glass and got them all wired up and got them all running, actually. His reach really extends across Milwaukee, and those who knew him say it still will even after his passing. There's so much that Mike did that has a lasting influence and lasting legacy. And it was Cudahy who brought Gary Witt, executive director of the Paps Theater Group, here to Milwaukee from Chicago in a statement to Fox 6. Witt said he hopes that current and future philanthropists will use Cudahy's death as inspiration to really embrace their love for the city of Milwaukee and use that love to make it a better city like Cudahy did. We're live tonight in Milwaukee. Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. His impact can just be felt. Sam, thank you.